Alright, we are in part two now. Uh, we had already gone over A, the A part, in the beginning. Um, now we're going over B. We were halfway through it. Uh, I'll give you a quick recap of what we just went over. That's what we were doing there. Um, go back if you need to kind of recap that. Uh, but then the next part will go like this. Basically what you're doing is you just repeated the first part, but left out uh, left out that, and then you just go down to the... Then you're going to get into part C, uh, but I will go over all of part B again, uh, just to kind of show you. First half. So as you can tell, I just left out, that's the only part that's left out. So you just kind of repeat the two halves like that, uh, and then you do this this slow. Now you get into the hardest part of the song. Uh, I will show you the arpeggios that you have here. Uh, this is part C. You have... Okay, so that's A, C, E, A. there. Same pattern there. You go down to an F major triad there. So F, A, C, F. Same pattern. One, two, three, four, three, four. Sorry. One, two, three, four, four, three, four, three. Alright, that's your pattern. Uh, that, so you start starts like this. to this, back up, and when you go back down to this, it's going to change a little bit. Instead of playing the F twice, you're going to play G, F, okay? So it's going to be F, A, C, G, F, C, F, C, alright? So instead of... Practice that. So your left hand here. All right. So that's the first part we'll go over. Now the left hand. You've got this is middle C. You've got E, E F, F A, F E. Okay. Again. Three notes there, okay? I'll play it slowly with the the um, left hand here. Oh, sorry. Uh, note here, when you get to this... Uh, when you play...
play that that uh, the F here. When you play this F, the second time is when you hit this F. Okay, so it's. Okay, and then you go E, A, 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 D, all right? All right, that'll be the next part. So to match this all up here, we have First part of parts of uh, section C, I will play from the beginning. All right, now we're getting into the uh, last part half of section C. Okay, I'll just go over the uh, the rest of the left hand here for you. We have a D minor triad with the octave again, same pattern. D, F, A, D. Then you're gonna go E, G, B, E, same pattern. Then F, A, C, F, same pattern. Then uh, G, B, D, G, same pattern. So. second time of that G there, you're going to play just the G, D, G again, kind of reverting back to normal. Uh, I'll put any annotations in the video if I'm like flagrantly wrong about this. Um, comment and post if I'm wrong and I'll put annotations saying uh, what's the true form because this song is it's kind of like Brahms because you have, if you know anything about Brahms, he takes similar themes in music like you see here and just like slightly changes them every time they come up again. Uh, you'll definitely hear this in your song, in this song while you're playing it. It's just like, oh, this is a little bit different than how it was played before. And it kind of changes back and forth and can be a little confusing. Um, and then the left hand for this part, so uh, we've got you go up to D here go D C uh, sorry D G uh, D B G G A C C D B G All right, I'll do that again so we have So with the song, here's what we have. Oh, sorry. actually think that that G in the E minor chord might actually come a little bit later than what I played. Uh, I'm just not used to playing it. It might be like a... It 
might be something like that, but uh, you get the idea. Uh, so I'll play through part uh, section C completely here. So that is section C. Um, again, I played that G a little bit too soon there on the E minor. Uh, but I think I'll stop it here again. Uh, and we'll do part three to finish it off. Because we're just going to go back to the B section again. Because um, we're done with the C section. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and uh, yeah. So uh, we'll, we'll, it just comes back to B and then kind of finishes off there. So uh, see you in part three.